This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today I'm going to show you how to not only back up your saves in single player, but also how to back up your saves on your server, specifically servers hosted by G Portal. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with backing up your saves in single player. It's pretty easy to do. So you're going to start off, you are going to hold down the Windows key and then press R. This is gonna bring up your run command down at the bottom of your screen on Windows, whatever version you're on, hopefully 10. Anyway, then you are going to type in percent app data percent backslash dot dot backslash local low, just like you see there on the screen. Then you're going to hit okay. That is going to bring up a folder and somewhere in that folder, you're probably gonna have to scroll through a little bit depending on how many games you have and what all's in there. There's probably gonna be a lot of stuff in there. You will look for the Iron Gate folder. Once you have found that, you're gonna double click that and open it up. Inside that folder, you are going to see a folder labeled Valheim. You're gonna open that up. Then you're gonna see a couple of folders in there and some other text files and some log files. What we're after today is the worlds folder. And I'm gonna show you how to back up your world here. And then I'll also show you how to back up any characters as well. So you want the worlds folder, double click and open up that. Inside that, you're gonna see a bunch of different stuff depending on how many worlds you have. You can see mine is rather full. Now there's a bunch of files in here that have dot old after them. We're not worried about those. Those are backups that Valheim does automatically. So you wanna look for whatever world you want to back up whatever you named it. So for example, in this one, we're gonna back up my save called Let's Build. So you can see there that I have three separate files labeled Let's Build. I have Let's Build.db, Let's Build.db dot old, and Let's Build dot FWL followed by let's build dot FWL dot old. I'm going to ignore the ones that say dot old and I only want to grab and select let's build and then hold down control and click let's build dot FWL. Now, all you're going to do is hold down the control key and hit C. That's going to copy those files. Alternatively, you can just right click on either one of those that you have highlighted and click copy as well. Now what you're gonna do is go to someplace else, uh, your desktop, wherever you wanna go. It, it honestly, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to go somewhere wherever you wanna back up these files and create a new folder. So just right click in there, click new and new folder. Hopefully you know how to do that. Go inside that folder and then right click and click paste or press control V and that's going to paste those files in there. That's it. You just backed up your world. So now real quickly, I will tell you how to back up your character. So you want to go back to that main Valheim folder where you have characters, possibly screenshots, worlds, admin list, all of that, that folder, main folder we were in. You're going to double click and go into the characters folder. You're going to see a list of your characters there. Now characters only have one file. It is your .fch file. As you see here, I have a couple of different ones. We're going to back up the FireSpark character. So you can see there I have firespark.fch and I have firespark.fch.old. Now I'm going to ignore the old one. I don't need that one. So I'm just going to click on the firespark.fch file and hit control C and then go over to that folder where I just pasted my worlds and hit control V or alternatively you can right click and click copy and then right click in the other folder and click paste. And there you go. You just backed up your character. Now at any given time you want to restore a character or restore a world. You do everything that I just told you to do here, but you do it kind of backwards. So you go into that main folder where we just grabbed all of this stuff. So your local low iron gate Valheim where you see characters and worlds. Then you're going to go to the folder where we just backed up our character and our world and you're just going to select whichever one you want. So if you want to say restore your world, you will just select those world files, hit control C, go back over to the Valheim folder, go into the worlds folder and click control V and paste them in there. If you already have them in there with the same name, it will ask you if you want to override them, just tell it yes. Okay, so let's talk about how to back up our worlds 
if you are running a G Portal server. Now I'm only showing G Portal because they sponsor this channel. They're a great service and uh, if you don't have a server, uh, you should get one through them. And if you are already running a server with a different host, you should consider switching to G Portal. If you use the link down in the description, you not only help out the channel because I get a small monetary sum for you renting a server through that link, you also get a discount on your server. So it's just a great way to go. And I have a tutorial already showing you how to set up a Valheim server through G Portal. So I'm going to assume that you've already watched that video and you've already set up your server through G Portal and we're just going to pick up from there. So from the G Portal main dashboard, you're going to click your Valheim server. That's going to bring you to this window here. In this window, you will get the information you need to connect to your server via FTP. So you can see that right here. You can see your host name, your port, your username, and your password. You need all those things to connect via FTP. As far as what FTP program to use, I'm going to show you how to do this in FileZilla and I'll put a link for it down in the description. You can use whatever FTP program you want. So inside FileZilla, once you have it open, you are going to click this button right here. That's gonna open your site manager. Right here, you are going to put the host name. Here's where you're gonna put the port. This is where you're gonna put your username and this is where you are going to input the password. Then you're gonna click connect. Once you've done that in this window here, you're gonna see a bunch of different files files. What you are after is the folder labeled save. Double click that. That's going to take you into your save folder. Then you'll see a couple of files in there like the permitted list and the ban list, admin list, all that. But what we're after is the worlds folder. You're going to double click that to go into your worlds folder. You should only have one world in there, but you're also going to have the backups for it. So the dot old files, once again, ignore the dot old files. In the window right next to it is the window in which you drop files to download them to your computer. That's where you want to download them to. The window right above it will help you navigate to find where you want to drop those files. So for simplicity, in the window above it, just click the desktop icon there, desktop button. That should take you to your desktop. Now what you're going to do is click your world.fwl file and then hold down control and then click your world.db file in this window. Then all you have to do is just click those and drag them over to the window next to it and drop them. That will download those files to your desktop. From that point, you can just find them on your desktop and then move them to wherever you want. You can create a new folder there or and drop them in it or whatever. Hopefully you guys know how to manage files and move them around and copy and paste them and stuff because if not, you probably shouldn't be running a server. Just saying. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all it is to it. You just backed up your world. Now, in order to restore that, in that same folder that you're already in right now, you can literally drag those files and drop them back into that window. It will ask you if you want to override them. You just tell it, yes, you've restored your world to your server. Now I know what you're wondering. Firespark, can I run this in my single player? Yes, you can. They are compatible both ways. So we could go back to our Valheim's save file for our single player where I just showed you how to back them up. And in that worlds folder, you could drop these files in there and then you will see them in your single player game and you can go back to that world at any time. All right, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. If you found this video helpful and informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. I upload all kinds of stuff, so you never know when I'm going to be uploading something that you might be interested in. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.